Welcome to 823 Stevenson. I'm Nick McElhatton. My wife and I, Elizabeth, we've been flipping properties for a long time now. I've been in the real estate business for over 12 years uh, and also have a, a very heavy construction background. So this is something that we really enjoy doing. I am the design behind the whole process. Um, I come through and make the houses look pretty and make sure that we have the right paint colors and flooring. This is our beautiful flip house um, that we're about to remodel. Yeah. All the other houses around it are pretty cute. This I one, know, that's what, uh... not so much. The color really got me. Like, I just love the outside of it. That's your favorite color. My favorite color. Scar tissue. By far. That's right. <laughs> we look for these things that are just like covered in grass and overgrown, just dirty things, that, houses that people don't want. We walk through, we see the potential. My wife really sees the potential in how to decorate it. She comes in and decorates, picks out colors. We redo this whole thing and we put it back out there. It's kind of this shiny new jewel for our uh, community. This house was loved by somebody at some time, it but it's uh, it needs just it needs to be brought back up into today. And we can make it beautiful, but the best part is, is these cast irons. We're gonna dig them up and we're gonna reuse them on the property. I'm, I'm, I might even dig them up and resell them. I'm just saying that's a lot of cast. I irons. see a lot of cast iron digging and planting in my future. All right, let's go inside. This definitely has to come down. The ramp's gotta go. This room. Look at what you notice right away. The beautiful hardwood floors. That's right. I that's mean, what we look for. All these houses that we find have these. They houses. do, and usually they're covered lucky. in carpet. Yes. So we usually have to pull the carpet up. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, we really didn't have to. But in our Doors area, look great. yeah, they look really good. Well, they don't look really good. Well, they will look. They really will good. look great. I go back and forth on these fireplaces because, yeah, they look cool and they kind of set up the room. But at the same time, it doesn't do anything. But it's pretty, and we can make it look pretty, and it sets the room because you could put a TV over and it, and you're hole. gonna set. There's the... a hole on the floor. We don't want to come in and just like wrecking ball this house and, no. and make it modern. We want to kind of adapt as much of the charm naturally that it has, yeah. and then kind of accentuate that, and then add some of the modern Bring touches. Bring it fresh, right? And clean and but here, the 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 fireplace, the the faux, the faux fireplace, the faux fireplace stuck out too far into the room. This was something that we don't see a whole lot. Uh, was a window in in the wall, going down the hallway. I don't get it. So you could see somebody. So you could see. So you could look. And see, see if somebody's down, down the hallway, or you could see if dinner was ready. Or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't, I, the only thing I could think of is they were trying to get light somehow down the hallway. So we've already torn out see? the kitchen. This is this kitchen is not very big. I see something that I'm gonna have a wood. job right there. I got some rotten wood, so we're gonna take all that out. Uh, try to make sure everything's structurally sound, and then let you tell me how we're putting this back together. Let's just say the refrigerator was here. That beautiful refrigerator that was built in was pushed back yeah. and built in onto the porch. So that's your laundry room now. So now that's my laundry room. Um, but now we need to find a place for the refrigerator. To make the kitchen look bigger, I feel like we might need to close up this window, put the refrigerator here, and then put uh, cabinets here to give them some ca cabinets. There's no... There is no pantry space. There's no pantry space. So, if you're outside look, from the street looking at the house, you'll see, even though this house had two fake fireplaces, it has one amazing chimney sticking up through the roof. This is a completely fake chimney. So back in the 20s and 30s when they were building these houses, it was such a status symbol Have to at least me? look like you had a fireplace oh. that they built this all the way from the ground through the roof to, as a fake fireplace. So can we just take everything off and just have a brick column in the kitchen? That might be kind of pretty. Yes, actually, we can do that. There we go. And we, that's, that's actually a, a That's idea. why you have me. Let's take it. <laughs> I have all the good ideas. So right now, you cannot get out of the back of this house because the back door was over here. So we're actually making this into like a little laundry room. The kitchen cabinets will stop here and then this will just look open so it'll kind of be just bright, lots of windows just to make the kitchen area look bigger. So uh, the roof is something we're going to have to check out and look and see if it needs to be replaced because obviously there's some water damage. Uh, we've got a hole in the wall here that looks into the living room. I think we should just leave it. Maybe put some glass and be like, hey, what's going on in there? <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fixed. Uh, but really this room isn't bad. It's got great natural light. Yeah, and then um, just redoing the wood floors. The floors, the closets. There's two of them. There's more than enough room. This is a tiny house. Yeah, but it's not a room for all my stuff. You're not going to live here. I know. Maybe, maybe you will live here. <laughs> this room, I'm 
but it's dis- cool. It is really cool. I'm really disappointed that we can't keep all the ship lap. Maybe we can keep a wall or two. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Um, because it really does look Not that neat. Wall. So Not this that wall. room had padded wallpaper. It wasn't padded wallpaper. It was padded. It was a padded room. It was weird. Welcome to the bathroom. Welcome to the so, bathroom. So where let's, to begin? Let's, all right. let's start by saying this bathroom stopped where this is. So the what? tub. Listen. What? The bathroom stopped right there. Yeah. So the tub was right here. So you could sit on the toilet, wash your hands, and maybe even like put your feet in the tub if you wanted to. So you just funny you say that. Look right behind you next to the window. This was See that? the shower no, head. No, no, no. Look, look to the right of the window. See right that there. Yeah. That's where the shower came out. So half <laughs> of the window was actually inside of the tub. Uh, we had to put in a beam because of the way the roof line came in. Uh, but now we're getting ready to put it back together, and we really need to lay this thing out because again, it's the only bathroom for the house. It yep. needs to look good. The vanity should go right here. Okay. And maybe we should just do like a tall, like a shower here, a real pretty shower. My thoughts were that we put the tub actually right where we're standing. That window goes away. Since you're a window killer, I can be a window killer too. The window needs to go in the bathroom. I don't understand. The so <laughs> that closes up. The toilet moves over here. It has its own little private space and you still have the double vanities here. What's up? This is Kane. He's our, he's our contractor that helps us out here. He does <laughs> All of the fun stuff. Yeah. The house is cool. It's really solid, you know. The, the barn there has got to go out back, but... Uh, you know, yeah, that's that, kind of a... Yeah, it's kind of a hazard that's out the there. Next, that's the next step of this whole deal. You like but, to keep stuff. You just wait till y'all see <laughs> what we're keeping. How do you get... Come on. There we go. <laughs> the great thing about when we buy all these houses is you never know what you're gonna get. And there is so much random stuff inside this shed. Oh, well, honey, I found that, uh, <laughs> I found your mantelpiece. <laughs> and look, he's got like eyeshadow, <laughs> dark circles maybe. I feel like he's following me. Does he look like he's following me? I don't know, he's you? very creepy. I just well, love all the old. That's cool for out cool. here. This is probably the coolest piece back here that I think we need to do something with. It looks like an old card catalog or filing system. It is heavy and it is metal, but it is cool. Yeah, this letter is from May 20th, 1931. Wow. That's uh. Dear love. Dear love. Aww. 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 <laughs> Look how you sweet. You wanna read this with me? Oh. <laughs> you must be awfully busy because you're not talking to me very much. <laughs> it just gets a little. All right, it's I go? so strange that this exists. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I guess. You said you weren't. Now I'm I don't know. This makes me really nervous. It's like thousands of letters, all from like the 20s and 30s and. Wow. So this is letters back home from the war, from World War II. That's crazy. Oh, there's a big spider. There's a big spider. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's Holy a... moly! Is I would. Ah, it's just a wood spider. It's just a wood spider. Uh, is, where'd you go, buddy? You just have fun with that. I think we've gone through the whole house. We kind of know what we're doing. Um, now it's time for us to get started. I'm just ready to get started. Lots of stuff is taking place over here at Stevenson. As you can see, it's starting to come together. What do you think of the color? I love the paint color. I think it turned out really pretty. It's, it's getting there. Kind of a gray, looks almost gray green. What do you think? I think it looks gray. Every southern porch has to have a blue ceiling. I love the way the blue ceiling is turning out. And you know why they do it? 
Why are we keep, painting blue? To keep the spider web. The keep the spider webs. Spider webs away. To keep the wasps away. They don't like. Uh, they don't like setting up homes on light blue ceilings because they think it's the sky. So I mean, it looks pretty too. At least that's too. the that's the thought behind it. That's the theory. Whether it's true or not, we'll find out. But it's a uh, southern tradition, so we're going to keep have that a blue going. Ceiling. That's right. So the kitchen is still ripped out. The window is gone. So all the plumbing, all the plumbing is complete. We've gotten that roughed in. All the electrical is complete. That's been roughed in. So it is actually time that we can start putting up walls. I feel like this case opening needs to be bigger. Well, you can just cane. Forget that. Nothing's secure. Nothing is secure. You can, oh. can, can walk on it. It's secure enough to walk on. Old oh, cat carcass. Still got a little mummified cat right no, down here. Is yeah, it we really? found a headstone. Yes. A guy named Jim down here. You can see it down close up. No way. <laughs> yeah, it was underneath the steps right here. Are you crazy. joking? No, you I never, found it underneath the steps. You never know. I thought it was a stone. Find. I pulled it up. It's like it's a Jim. Yeah, that, that goes first. Oh my God! They're really mummified carcass under. Goes. I thought you were joking. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That is horrible. <laughs> and this is what you get when you flip a house. Yep. You never know what you're gonna find. But uh, as you can see, the shop is gone. So yeah. that's uh. <laughs> you saw that footage of that coming down. So now we've got that space to deal with and a little more cleanup to do. And there's the rain. And a little more rain. Yeah. And then this turned out really good. So this is where the original door was, which is now in the bathroom. Um, so we did a little beadboard. I think this turned out really pretty. Yep. It all kind of tied together nicely. That is the um, window that was in the bathroom that we closed up. We added the beadboard. If I go down, it would be very bad. I'd have. I'd have Old man in his back. I'd have mummified cat you all over me. <laughs> I can't believe there's a dead cat. Yeah, so we ran into some uh, some plumbing issues here. You couldn't put the faucet over here because of all the drain lines running right through where the faucet normally would go. So we had to reverse it and put it on this side here. And then uh, the drain, we had to reverse it onto this side. So it makes this tub here, which is still we're going to use on the next project, uh, or useless on this because the drain is on this side. We need it to right. be on this side. So we got to get a new tub. New tub. So now we have to buy a new tub. <laughs> yep. So we got to buy a new tub. Kane, no, can not we leave like a wall of shiplap? <sighs> like, what if we leave one wall of shiplap? Well, the problem with the shiplap is, you know how well insulated this thing is. So whenever the hot, cool, weed, cool breeze blows through that wall, you're going to feel it. <laughs> I guarantee you'll feel it. Uh, but you can do whatever at your house, your project, but I would rock this stuff up, man. But plus, there's about uh, 100 years worth of dust in between those cracks. <laughs> so. Like almost exactly 100 years worth of dust. Yeah, it's really so good. It's a, uh -huh. So it's a no-go, so I'm getting voted out on just Well, just this one, one thing. You know, you got your way with the wind, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, a man that was born in the house, if you can believe that. Okay. He showed up on the front door, kind of when I was coming to the front door, and uh, we've talked to him, and he's going to come back and sit down with us and kind of tell us what he remembers about the house, and, and him and his two brothers uh, before they went to World War II. And, and the box of um, letters that we yeah, found the box were of his. Letters. They're his. So that that's kind of crazy to find yeah. out. So we found some extra treasures. The kitchen looks great. Thank you. I think my color turned out absolutely beautiful. We are going to tell people that I picked this color first. You right? did not pick this color out. First. So we both went to the paint store. I told Nick I had a blue color that was that I had picked out. And he said he had a blue cover color. First. It was the same color. First. Whatever. First is most important. No. Like I picked it out first and we went with it because I sort of have a good design sense that I need to get credit for. Uh, but no. looking in the looking in the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, a lot of changes since a lot of changes the very beginning. Um, the countertops still have to go in, so they're going to do that this week. And then we also have, this is the backsplash. Our brick column went away. Uh, it wasn't salvageable, so we couldn't get that. I was um, so disappointed. Yeah, we couldn't get that cleaned up and looking good. It was really too far gone, so we had to cover it. Uh, and we separated our cabinets here and just kind of highlighted it. Gave it, a, um, gave it a bottom that looked kind of cabinet like just to not break up the blue as it goes across all we gotta do is tile it put that in and we're done that's it we're almost done and we need lights 
This is the bathroom. We walked through it last time. Um, so this has been walled up. We made that master or the bathroom bigger um, by coming off into this back porch area. Yep. The color on the wall, so we use repose gray repose. throughout the house. It looks different in every single room. It definitely This does. room, it looks bluer because the cabinets. and the other room, it looked a little bit more tan. If you noticed on all the moldings um, on the doorways, we kept that going throughout everything that we added in. So like we added in this doorway over here, we went back and added the molding to kind of keep the house. The character of the house. Together. Old form. Character. Old form. Old form. Character. There we go. <laughs> keep the character. The fireplace, we still have to put, where's my towel? Oh look, there it is. Grab it. So this tile is going to go on the fireplace gonna look so pretty. Can we just talk about the fact that I dug up the cast irons in the front? Can we talk about the fact that I dug up maybe a human body in the front? The problem with digging out 40 plus year old azaleas is that those roots are in the ground and they do not want to let go and they are massive. So as I'm digging it up, I'm making a pile of everything that comes out of the ground. So I found an old bent up fork. <laughs> I found a stargazer CD. I found all kinds of the strange stuff down there. Um, and out popped this little clump that looked kind of weird. And I picked it up and threw it in the pile because it, it, felt, it felt weird. And after I got to the end, we washed it off and realized it's a bone. And it's not a small bone, I mean, it was kind of I always big. tell you, if you're not nice, I'm gonna chop you up and stick you in the freezer. I think somebody chops my own, put them in the bushes. I called all of my friends that were doctors, sent them the, sent them the video. <laughs> Everybody's trying to chime in on what kind of bone they think this is. And finally, I called the police. Uh, and, and ultimately get to the coroner and and convince the coroner to come pick up these bones and check and them dun, out. And dun dun dun. And they called me back and they were like, it's not human. It's not human. It's some big animal. So that was two days of worrying we had dead bodies in the front yard. I mean, anything's possible. You I mean, we found know. Jim the cat in the backyard. Jim the cat was. He had his own headstone. Jim had his headstone. I was what? Nick, Go ahead, say Nick it. so wanted this to be a body. He wanted to uncover some mystery. I did. Of years and years and years. Yes, I mean, because it, it was at least a 50 year old mystery because that's how old the plants were. This is weird. <laughs> Morbid for a house flipping video. I told y'all we were going to reuse the cast irons. These cast irons were coming over this walkway, which couldn't yeah. even tell existed. Now we have a walkway. Yeah, so down both sides side down both sides of the house now we have cast irons. Along the back fence in the backyard we have cast irons. Along Looks the back amazing. of the house around the new deck we have cast irons. Probably at our house All we have me. some new cast irons. All me. Does anybody else want some new cast irons? Because we have We could probably dig these up some more. Look at that. Uh-oh. We found the elusive cane in his natural habitat. <laughs> Let's see if we can get closer. <laughs> Don't scare him. Whoa! Ah! Is it one roof? Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, no, it's not. No. <laughs> the shed is gone. Is that that's all you want to say? The shed is gone. <laughs> if you say it a third time, then you're gonna fall right into character. The shed is gone. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I'm afraid to open the doors. I'm not gonna lie. It is so heavy. Yeah, this was all you, baby. You said keep the sheet metal. There it is. So you know what that means. Bringing it home and putting it in the garage so I'll figure out what to do with it. Oh my God. Oh yeah, on that terrible mm -hmm. concrete could fall at any second back patio. Mm -hmm. So we hit that with a hammer many, many times and made it, made it crumble. And we went back and replaced it with something a little prettier and a lot more useful. It looks so nice. And a lot sturdier, and that's this deck. It is in its final stages now. What? Oh, look we at that. We moved the back door over. What are you going to get? You know what I'm going to get. That's just a leaf. I hope you fall. Did you just say that? <laughs> you said that on camera. I'm above it. Oh, Nick, I swear to God. Why are you doing this? I'm like, not a dog. There, there's a blade behind you. Please get down. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop it! it! Yeah, like I don't, we don't want you fall. Oh my God. Sweetheart. <laughs> just leave me alone. If I look at it, will you leave me alone? Yeah, you come over here and look at it. There? Come over here and look at the, the nice praying mantis that has taken up residence on your amazing. So look, the praying mantis it. likes it. Come here. Just look. I see him. Look. He's adorable. He's disgusting looking. Oh, Stop rip my it. hand off. Just kidding. <laughs> We're going to let him go. So we are in 
I the love bathroom, it. which we can't step on the tiles because they just put them down. Yeah. Can I not step on them at all? No. Absolutely it, not. I, no, please don't. Where your little soap area is, we've made a little accent um, with some tiles, but that is where the window was that we looked at on the outside of the house. So we closed that up. Yeah, so we're going to keep all of the original doors the way that we are. We're trying not to do a whole lot of, of finishing and touching to them, but we do need to get these stains off. We're gonna come and try to clean them and then use a really fine grit sandpaper and try to get the stains off and then come back with some kind of a tinted oil and oil all these. We want them to stay as natural looking as possible because they look really cool. We're not gonna to touch the door hardware other than just cleaning it up because we like the aged patina on it and we think it's gonna look, look really nice. So I guess I need to get on that. You need to get on that. My list keeps growing and your list keeps getting shorter. No. I love how you argued there. <laughs> Nuh-uh. <laughs> Nuh-uh. When you look at the house from the front, from the street, you see this brand new pictured little craftsman house on this block of other cute little craftsman houses. It, it really stands out but at the same time fits in. All in all, this house absolutely looks beautiful. When we came through and we staged it and bringing all of the elements together with the artwork, the furniture, the accent pieces, I think it really makes this house feel homey and it makes it feel loved again. This house was, you know, a mess when we bought it and at one time somebody did absolutely love this house. And I feel like now we have a buyer that's going to love it just as much as we loved putting our hard work and sweat into it and making it beautiful again. Doing these projects, it's not about taking an old house all the time, stripping it and then turning it into a new house. What we're trying to do is make it the best house in the style that it was originally intended to be um, and giving you some of the modern conveniences. I absolutely love this house. This is by far my favorite flip house that we have done. And I truly want this to be like my little she shed. <laughs> and Nick hates the word she should, but I love this house. I want it to be my office because of all the windows. This house looks so bright and it just makes you happy in a place you just kind of want to be and kind of hang out in. To know that the family who had been responsible for taking care of this house for almost the last hundred years, I mean the house will be a hundred next year, that they could look at our work and say we think that y'all did the best job possible for what this house looked like, that was really, that, that made us really, really happy. But we put the sign out there and this house was sold in no time. We had three offers within two days, um, negotiated that out and we have a buyer that's going to be moving in here soon and is going to get to enjoy all of this work and we hope that, that they really appreciate it as much as we appreciated doing the work here. Can you, you remember oh, wow. what this looked like before? Yes, there was a huge ramp. Yeah. The bushes were like seven feet tall. For about three months there was a stove sitting out here too. There was a stove, there was tons <laughs> of junk. It, but it looks good now. It looks adorable. Like, I don't want to sell this house. I do want to stay here. This house is clean. It doesn't have any toys in it. Clean. It is. It's clean. Once we move our stuff in, it's not going to be clean. We don't have to bring our to stuff. There's going to be toys We don't have to bring our stuff. We can just leave it and we just start over. Just bring some clothes. Act like we're on vacation. Just us? Yeah. What do we do with the kids? Oh, they'll figure it out. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> but Ooh. it's finished. It looks beautiful. It's sold. Yeah. It smells amazing. It, it smells good. But you know what doesn't smell amazing? <laughs> the next one. Oh, yeah, that's true. The next one does not smell good. And it's two blocks away. Yep. You better get to work. What? We were just sitting on the porch having a good time. 